It's Ash from Super Videos back for another video for The Last of Us on HBO. On this video, we're going to be taking a look at some behind the scenes photos and footage from filming that took place in downtown Calgary. Now, obviously, if you followed the channel, you know that I live in Calgary and I was able to visit set a few times in the past. Today included, I was able to go to the set location and lucky for me, they were actually filming a few live shots that I was able to kind of watch. There was a few things that I was able to capture that I'm sure you're not going to want to miss. So stay tuned. We'll be right back to break these down. All right, as always, before we jump into this, smash that like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. With that said, let's dive right in. But before I do that, I wanna kind of give you a bit of context so that you know what we're gonna cover. So obviously, in the last few weeks, they've been doing a lot of scenes that involves a particular truck, a blue and white truck, that Pedro Pascal as Joel, Bella Ramsey as Ellie are gonna be driving. This is a scene from the video game that takes place in Pittsburgh and it's the part of the game where Joel and Ellie are driving through Pittsburgh where they're ambushed by a gang and then after they fight that gang they run into Henry and Sam. Now in the TV adaptation there's a lot of things pointing towards a location change so instead of Pittsburgh in the TV adaptation, they're going to be in Missouri, Kansas City. There's been a lot of proof for that. I talked about this on previous videos, so you can go and check them out. We also did a video talking about that particular ambush scene. I wasn't able to visit set when they were doing that. So I relied mostly on photos and footage captured by other fans. We even covered a lot of photos from when they were filming scenes between Joel, Ellie, Henry and Sam. Again, I wasn't able to visit set in those particular days, so I relied on fan photos and footage for those discussions. In this video, I also did take a few photos posted by fans. I'll leave all of my sources so you can go and check them out. Most of those are pictures of the cast themselves, so Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey. But other than those, most of the footage and photos in this video are things that I captured myself. So with that said, let me tell you one final thing before we dive into the pictures. The live shot that they were filming, they filmed like multiple takes of this. I was there actually for the most part. It involved a scene where Joel and Ellie are inside this blue and white truck. They're driving through the city and then they hit an intersection and they turn. And that was pretty much the scene. Nothing too exciting, but... When I actually first got there, they were filming a live take of Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey as Joel and Ellie inside the truck. I was actually right behind the crew and the camera guy, so I wasn't able to capture a lot of photos and footage of the actual live scene, but other takes that they did, I was able to record a little bit of and take some photos because I wasn't immediately where the security and crew and everyone was. I was actually on these bridges in downtown Calgary that connect the buildings. So it was a pretty cool spot to stand and take some photos and film some stuff. I actually had to walk around quite a bit to take different angles of this particular scene that they were shooting so that it paints a good picture for you in terms of what the scene might look like. But with that said, let's get right into these pictures. First, we have this behind the scenes picture of Bella Ramsey as Ellie. It's a pretty cool shot of her. We can actually see she's rocking the same look from Ellie in the game. So that's pretty awesome. We have another behind the scenes photo of the actors that are going to be playing Henry and Sam. I don't think this was from today. I think this was either from very early in the morning or even yesterday. So I wasn't able to capture any of these myself. We have another one of Pedro Pascal here. And then we have this one of Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey as Joel and Ellie together. And then we have this particular road, which is the main road that they were filming today. So we can see an ambulance there. 
that's been decorated to make it look apocalyptic. There's rust all around it. We can actually see a lot of stores being decorated on the side of the road, which is pretty cool. One fun fact, Globe Cinema is actually a real cinema in Calgary. It's a small cinema that shows a lot of low budget indie films, but instead of decorating it, they actually had that sign exactly as it is. We have another angle of the Globe Cinema sign, another shot of the same road. We can actually see a bus. Another fun fact is like I said earlier, this is supposed to be in Kansas City, which explains why it says kcata.org. I'm assuming that's Kansas City. We can see another angle. This is on top of one of those bridges that I was talking about. We can see that exact same road. We can see the bus there and other cars in the background that are decorated. They're rusted and there's some vines around them as well. If you actually look on the side, there's debris all over the sidewalk. There's like leaves and stuff like that. That's where I was standing when they were doing that live take of Bella Ramsey and Pedro Pascal with the truck driving around the corner. A closer shot of those cars in the background that I was talking about. Now, I don't think they're going to be in the shot that they were filming because they were security standing around it during the live shot. So I think those are just in the background. They may have filmed something with them earlier, but for these particular takes that they were doing, they weren't utilizing this particular angle. This is actually close to where I was standing. Like I said, there's leaves and debris all over the ground. In the background, you do see the roads are closed. They actually removed that during the live shots because that's where the intersection was, where the truck turned to the left. Another picture of that bus that we were talking about with dirt all around it. This is actually the sidewalk of that main road that we were looking at. So they have decorated the stores and everything. So that's pretty cool. We can see another shot of the decorated stores on the side. Obviously there's a lot of debris for the most part to make it look more apocalyptic. And then we have another shot here of crew in the background. This is around the intersection where the truck was. So we can see there's a cop car there. This is actually the starting point of that live take that they're doing. So we can see there's also some similar cars in the background, but you do see that same blue and white truck that I've been talking about. We will see this truck a lot in this video. So that's going to be the focus of attention because that's what the scene was. It revolved around this particular truck, but we can see the crew is doing something in the background. They're fixing something. They spent like maybe 20 minutes, maybe adjusting the camera or something like that. This is another picture of that same area. I looked around to see if I could see any of the actors. So Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey, but they weren't around. Obviously you can see that this truck has a camera on top of it. So these takes that they're doing here with the camera on top is for them to film the surrounding areas. So the actors are no longer in the scene itself. Petra Pascal may have been driving the truck, but I highly doubt it. Obviously, like I said earlier, the live take that they were doing with Joel and Ellie inside the truck, the truck looked a little different because there wasn't equipment on it. That particular shot was filming the two of them in the truck. So obviously you couldn't see the cameras. We can see another shot of the same area. So we can see there's a lot of similar looking cars in the background. This is actually like a block before that particular location where the truck was. But even in this area, there was a lot of similar looking trucks, which I'm assuming were trucks that they're going to be using for multiple takes. Maybe they're going to be crashing the cars or something along those lines, but they had multiple identical trucks in this particular spot. We can actually see that here as well. Now, if you pay attention all the way in the background, that's actually where that main truck was, where the camera was and the crew was surrounding it. So that's further down. Obviously the previous pictures were me standing in that bridge that you see filming down. We can see another picture here, not much to say about these, but then afterwards I decided to move into the bridges to get better pictures and better footage. So with that said, I'm actually going to walk through that scene that they did from multiple angles. At the end of this video, I will leave all of the footage that I have without any cuts. But for now, 
in order to make this easier to explain, I'm gonna kind of cut to the main parts of the footage and kind of talk through it. So we can see this is the truck right here. They're adjusting something, maybe the camera, and this is one of the crew with a clipboard getting the shot ready. He moves out of the way and the truck starts, makes a right turn, and then this is from a different angle. The truck comes and then makes a left. This is obviously the spot that we looked at earlier. So we can see the truck goes all the way to where the bus is and then it's driving back for the second take. So obviously we can see that this is no longer a live shot anymore. It's the truck moving back to where it started to start the second take. But this is pretty cool. I mean, we can see that the cop car is there, the ambulance is right there as well that we talked about. And then we can see this particular yellow car. But this is basically that main road that they were filming at. I mean, you can see the ambulance all the way in the background. You can see the police car there and other cars around as well. And you can see that that road is blocked for traffic. And then when they're doing the live take, they're gonna remove the orange blocks so that they could actually film the live take. Another picture of that same road right here. Not much to say about this one. The one thing I do wanna mention is on the bottom left where the bikes are, that's where I was standing, where they were doing that live take with Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey. We can see another closer image. The ambulance is all the way in the background and the police car is all the way in the front. And that's basically the main block of road that they were filming at. This is a picture of me actually on that bridge. You can see that main road all the way in the background, which was the focus of attention for this particular take. And this is actually the pictures I was able to take very discreetly, but I was able to take these. So you can see that this is a live action shot right here. We can see the camera guy on the top left and you can see some other people behind monitors. Another picture right here. Not much to say about these. For the most part, I was just watching. I wasn't taking a lot of pictures at this time. And then we can see another picture, but that's pretty much everything as far as the stuff that I was gonna talk through. The rest of this video is gonna be just the clips that I was able to capture without any cuts or with very minimal cuts in it so you can kind of see the entirety of all of the stuff that was going on today for filming but that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you stick around to watch the rest of it if you enjoyed this video smash that like button subscribe to join our community and press the bell to be notified when i upload on the channel enough of me talking enjoy the rest of this video